Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So today I wanted to talk about a specific kind of macro that I'm playing with whenever I'm tanking in Season of Discovery. I mentioned it that I have it in the like one of my previous videos that I'm using this kind of macro. Um, and I got a comment that is like, could you show me like what, what the macro is? And absolutely I can do that. And it's not like, like, first of all, let me tell you like this. This is not the most like optimal way, like for most threat or most damage or like it's a, um, I'm not using a particular rotation to play like this, but it's like always, like whenever I make macros is to uh, like have more awareness because it's less buttons for me to press Well, like technically I'm pressing but like my, I'm gonna show the keybinds that I'm using Because I want to have awareness to what's happening on the screen rather than my abilities as much as possible so technically with the like this setup it makes me like I said more awareness and in my opinion actually feels like I'm doing a bit more threat <laughs> but like because I have no problem at all keeping the aggro um, from pretty much anything any kind of raid that I've done so yeah let's just show it um, I made it so it's two different ones technically it's the same but the two abilities in it has been changed depending on what you want to start with Personally, I usually pick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm. Let's just go over and show what it actually is. So let's do like this, and we open the macros, and it's over here. So this is the one. Um, like always in a macro, I like whenever if I ha actually have a mac uh, like a trinket that is on a use effect, like I like I'm saying, it is this is not the optimal way, but it feels like a lot of times it feels like I have a let's say a trinket and I don't use it on cooldown over a long period of time. Uh, if I don't use it like on cooldown it could like sit there for like 10 minutes and I haven't used it and during those 10 minutes since this trinket for example the uh, the one from Sulgurub it has a two minute cooldown so I could have it up f uh, five times and it's up for 20 seconds each so that's what's that like two like on one and a half minutes of out of that if I'm not mistaken like was what's that Three is one minute. So after six six minutes, you've you've had it this up for one minute, and then two more times. So one minute and forty seconds in two minutes, rather than it's just sitting there. So that's how I'm playing. So keep that in mind. If you don't want that, you can easily remove it from over here. Um, can I make this bigger? I can't uh, but if you want to do that you can just uh, shift cl uh, click on the item and it will be like slash use and yeah and the always as always you do a hashtag show tool tip the, the thing that that is is that let's go in inside oh <laughs> uh, let's save there Let's go inside uh, Stockade just so I can show you on a couple of mobs why the show tooltip is nice. Because it's gonna show you the actual like... Uh, uh, like... As at the moment this one for example uh, it says Hammer of Righteous. Uh, I have it on this keybind here. And if I use it uh, like this it's gonna show you the next one because if I don't have that it's just gonna be yeah just whatever really and like it's not gonna show the actual icon but if we go in here this icon 
will change depending on it. If not, for example, and, and like if you want the the icon to change, you have to keep you have to have the question mark because if you choose uh, like let's say this one or whatever or this one, it's gonna stay that one and it's not gonna change. So that's a question that I've gotten like a lot of times from people like mine is not changing and usually it's because you need to have the on the question mark but like after that uh, I always if I'm playing a melee which I usually do because I play a tank you you do have a slash start attack macro which makes it so whenever you use it you will actually like actually start attacking just in the same way as if I would right click on this this uh, this one here and it's gonna start auto hitting and yeah um, there it is and then you do a cast a slash cast sequence macro I'm gonna put the the macros in the description down below but the first one in this type of one is uh, um, it's gonna first uh, first cast Hammer of Righteous, which is the AOE ability, this one. And after that, it, what once that one is used, it's gonna use the Shield of Righteous. And the reason why we have those two, so let's go over here on the runes. First, this one, the Hammer of Righteous, has six seconds cooldown. Next one, Shield of Righteous, also has six seconds cooldown. And depending on how you want to play it, you can have it like either like this, have the, have the Hammer of Righteous first and then Shield of Righteous, or you can have it like this and have Shield of Righteous first and then Hammer of Righteous. So if I'm gonna tank like BWL and I, ta I tank a boss, I switch and I use the single one first because I wanna make sure that I use my, like, yeah, just a single target Whee! one first but it's up to you it, it's not like it's that much of a difference but it's up to you and then I also have a whenever you're tanking this is a big mistake that I've seen a lot of people do because they don't like if you're tanking you can use this on any tank if like any like warrior rogue or whatever and you like a lot of raids you get the blessing of salvation buff but you can actually do a slash cancel aura uh, the first one is cancel uh, slash cancel aura greater blessing of salvation which is the greater one like that you need a symbol of kings that is a 15 minutes uh, uptime then you do a slash cancel or a blessing of salvation which is the normal one that you just cast and then I use the, so for me example, I use this one because uh, this one, because I just wanted to have it on cooldown all the time. So it, it feels like a proc in a sense every two minutes that is up for 20 seconds. Sure, this one, for example, is getting worse over that period of time. So in a, if, in a boosting scenario, this is, this one is, pretty much garbage because you're gonna lose it instantly if, if it's like 50 mobs or a hundred on you this one is gonna be off you in a matter of seconds like pretty much instantly but it's a very nice one to have if you're tanking a boss or whatever it, this is like I said it's totally up to you I'm not advocating that is this is the optimal way to play but it's a way that I've done um, just like all of uh, MC, Onyxia, Solgarub, and the three first bosses in BWL. So, and I haven't had any problems with it. So, and now you know the, the macro on it. For me personally, the best keybinds that I actually use all the time is scroll up and down on my mouse. So, for example, if I scroll down, it's gonna use the macro that I just spoke about. <clears throat> and if I scroll up, I have on this one, which is Holy Shield. So whenever, like, I just scroll up, and in a sense, like, sure, 
sometimes it could uh, be like the hammer of righteous or the shield of righteous is like on cooldown and the holy shield is also on cooldown i always prioritize the holy shield so if that happens i always scroll up first in order to actually proc it and it, and i mean if you have the six set bonus of the lawbringer the tier one it is even more important to have the the holy shield off cooldown all the time because it gives you so much of survivability so much damage i mean m the majority of all the damage i do is holy shield okay this one is not but it, it is like i don't know the specific number but it's like f at least at least 40 percent i i i'm I'm pretty sure on that, but it's like a huge amount of damage. And I, I mean, after that, um, let me show you another clip that I actually have here. I think it is. No, that's not the one. Okay. Uh, let's change that one. What about this one? Yeah, this one, for example. Let me just change this thing so you can see me. And then we go over. Uh, 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 we remove that one and we press on this one. Right click and speed up. So as you can see now in the corner over here, I'm not sure if you can actually see, but like I have it on the, let's go to our actual boss. Now, all I'm doing right now in the video is scrolling up and down all the time and then after that i'm just using judgment and I, i'm using judgment i'm using uh, exorcism and what else like I, i'm making sure that i have my seals up and everything which is it's just super simple because i can focus more on the boss because I'm just scrolling like like all, all like yeah I'm just scrolling like this all the time and on top of that if I'm boosting or I'm farming something I also have another keybind which is very nice uh, let me show you like the hell oh my god I actually accidentally removed it uh let's see here there 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 specific there wow there you go okay so if we go into uh options if you go to keybinds and then you have targeting you uh previously i had this keybind on either scroll down or up because if i'm playing someone that i'm pretty much using only one ability I have it on keybind down or up because then whenever I kill something I like instantly loot it but for me I have it on mouse button 4 and the middle mouse because if I'm like this and I'm like spamming all the time if I actually click it also like w w when I'm doing this when I walk past something see I'm picking it up so that's another keybind that I do which is just nice to have. And before we leave, I don't have this yet, but I'm gonna show you something that you can do if you have this thing yet. Um, let's go over and watch the... Uh, um if we go into let's say the bwl and then we look at the two set bonus on uh, 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 uh. yeah the retribution one so the in bwl uh, our bis according to my understanding is gonna be uh first the six set like six set bonus on the tanking set and after that, we need the two uh, set from the retribution one, and that is even like this, this, this combo. If I at least get like the two, 
the to um, retribution one first it's gonna be insane because it, let's read it uh, the part where it says uh, and your judgment no longer consumes your seals on the target so according to my understanding is that you don't have to cast a seal on yourself again after you've used it so it's up like the the whole duration pretty much like the same thing as uh the holy shield set that is like the charges doesn't disappear it's like the whole duration according to my understanding because it says you uh, like and your judgment no longer consumes your seals on the target so it should be like that at least but i mean if it is like that according to my understanding is that we just have to use a seal and then if i'm like now for example if i go over here and i use the judgment on the this character over here it's gonna get be gray and consumed and this one is gonna disappear you see it disappeared and i can't use, ju use judgment now sure it's on cooldown but even if i rebuff i can't use it until it's off cooldown so according to my understanding in that set is that if we actually like, I, like i'm saying it again it looks like you just use your seal and whenever you're judge, casting like your judgment it doesn't consume the actual like let's say the seal of martyrdom for example so it's gonna have a 30 second duration and if that's the case in our macro here you can actually put in the uh, like it, it doesn't have it doesn't have to be in the actual uh, uh, the cast sequence macro itself because judgment is not on the global cooldown, which means that if I'm using an, a, an ability, you can see it doesn't share it doesn't like turn like that as the other things do, which means that you can use it whenever, just like a the like divine protection. Oh wait, no, like the well the avengers wrath for example you can just use it because it's not it's not on the same global cooldown and if that's the case you can just do a slash cast uh, judgment and have it like this and if you want to you can actually have it like this also but keep in mind that you have to recast seals all the time so if I use if I would use this right now, it's gonna use it, and then I have to use, uh, refresh. So that's up to you. I mean, once this is off cooldown, it's gonna use it instantly, the judgment, and then I have to reseal. So that is up to you how you want to do it. Usually, depending on the situation, if it's like uh, maybe I would have it like on a single target uh, boss. Maybe I could have it on like the the, uh, the uh, Come on. It, let's say I would have it on the, the single target one. Because then it's a single target one. And I just want to use judgment all the time. But if I'm AoE tanking. Or it's like a, something that is have a... Let's say the first boss in PWL. I want to have judgment off cooldown. And be able to use it on a... Uh, on a patrol or like a spawn on the... The actual... Um, like mobs during the fight because then you can just tab towards it and cast a judgment and like you're dealing damage and you're a tank and you have the the righteous fury up for example it's gonna be easier for you to grab that one so that's m how i would play it but if it's like let's say this second boss in there i'm gonna have like i i could ac absolutely have it like this so I, I in that case I would use it like this. I would not have it on the the AOE one, but I would use it like this, I guess, pretty much. There. Meant. There you go. So now if I have it like this, let's say I'm tanking a boss or whatever, I'm tanking the second boss, and then it's gonna be using it all the time. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that one. And 
I've been super busy with the everything as always, but I'm not forgetting anyone. And we are so close to the first step on the like partner on YouTube. This is insane. And I'm very uh, like, I feel blessed that people are choosing to like following me, sharing me on and just, yeah, it's a blessing to have and yeah. Um, if you're new to this channel and you felt like this is helping you, please consider to subscribe and like the page and this video if you felt like it is helping you and share it to a friend and yeah, but like keep in mind if you already knew this, that's just awesome that you already knew about this and yeah. Just uh, if you see, if you feel if you see like any type of improvement that you can do in this type of playstyle, just comment in the comment section comment section down below, and I hope to see you in the future in the next video. Bork bork.